Hey everyone, it's Andy here. I just want to give a mid-January update on what's happening with the emergency allotments for the SNAP or food stamp program. As you can see here, the USDA has started processing waivers for February. So this is to allow states to keep paying SNAP program emergency allotments through the month of February. This program will be ending in March and I'll, I'll touch on that in the next section. But for now, these are the states that have got waivers for January and those who have got waivers is as of mid-January mid right now for February. So I'll go through the list for those who are not able to see the video. You have Alabama, California, which is California as of January and February, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, DC, Guam, Hawaii, Illinois, Kansas, Louisiana, Maine, which has got January and February, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, New Hampshire, which is January and February, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, which is extend, ending its program in January, so there's no uh, February SNAP EPT emergency allotments happening. Texas, Utah, Vermont, which has got Jan and Feb approved. Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, and Wisconsin, which has also got January and February approved. Again, I expect most states to get February approvals. Most of these, in fact, should go through, and I'll post an updated video when that happens. So also, also as a reminder, the SNAP program, the emergency allotments were not funded in, 20, in the 2023 government spending bill. So they're going to expire sometime in March. Some payments may go into April, but generally this is going to mean about an $82 uh, cut per month per family. So it's, it's significant. But seniors are going to see the biggest hit, which the average uh, senior or older adult is going to see a $200 cut due to the ending of these emergency allotments. Also, coupled with the higher Social Security adjustment this year, uh, a lot of the adults already income would have gone up, which would mean they would be getting less SNAP benefits. So they're seeing a pretty big whammy in 2023. But I'll keep posting updates as more SNAP states get waivers or if there's any changes to the program.